Hello everyone and welcome to our GPE Productions playing some Besiege today. So I've got this computer and uh, yeah, I wanted to play this game ever since uh, I found out about it a couple months ago, I think it has been now. So I've already done some stuff on here, I've completed Ypsilon, so I'm not going to go mess around with that. We're going to mess around in sandbox mode. Now, I'm not a professional at this or anything like that, so anything that I do will probably be most likely retarded. Okay, uh, there's got to be a way to turn the volume down. Uh, turn the music off. There we go. That makes it a lot better. Okay, so actually first let me show you a couple of things that I've built. Uh, let's see here. Open. I call this the Centripetalista. It's supposed to be like a ballista, but using centripetal force, but it's really not a ballista because it's not a big bow and arrow. I, I there's there's a word for these things, but uh, I forget it. I've seen them in like uh, the pumpkin chunkin thing on Discovery a couple times, so that's my inspiration for this one. So let's see here. Okay, so I had him saved up so he would just be able to. Okay, so we let him do his little thing, and then we. Ah, oh, shoot. It's a little tricky to, uh... little tricky. I mean, it's, uh... You gotta hit it at the right mark, or you're not gonna make your target. So, let's see here. Wait for it. Dang it. Missed again. See, you gotta want... You wanna try to fling it right when it reaches the arc, and I still haven't perfected that. Come on, now. Shoot. Okay, that's a little better. But not really. Okay. Maybe if I move it up a little bit. Let's see what we get. Okay. Stand back, you fools. And... Shoot. Well... If you consider, uh, Harakiri or, uh, oh, come on. That almost had him. Dang it. Okay, let, let's, let's try this again. I'll get this working for you. Come on. Why do you work all the other times, but as soon as I put you on recording... Yeah, there we go. That's what it does. And it does that very well. I completed all 14 stages, well not all 14 stages, I still haven't completed, I only haven't, I haven't only completed like the last one, so I guess I haven't beat it, sorry for lying to you, but I've completed most of uh, the stages with this machine, because this machine is just so versatile, I can put cannons on the front if I need them, oh my god, where did that come from? I, I didn't... Oh, boy. So, let me show you how uh, agile it is. It's not very agile, but it's agile enough, I believe. <laughs> I got him. That must have ha That's most of what happened, but I didn't see a goat there, so... Goat or sheep, whatever they are. I don't care, they're all farm animals. See, uh, I have a hard time getting this thing up on a... And here we go, we get destroyed. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, that was uh, the Centripetalista. Now let's load up the Flame Bender. Now this thing right here, if I... Or Flame Blender, sorry. I have sex daily, I mean dyslexia. Just kidding. Sorry to anybody that does have dyslexia. It must not... It has to be like a pain in the ass disease but anyway this thing is just supposed to look cool more than anything it's kind of hard to control especially trying to drive I don't even remember if it was able to take out these knights so let's see here as you can see it's rear wheel drive only I got non-powered wheels on the front just because I like old American muscle cars now I think if I press Y Oh, yeah, it still works. It works fine. 
Oh god. And oh, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Oh, I forgot how awesome this thing was. I know that people have probably made something like this before, but oh my god, this is just amazing. So I think today, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to just make... I don't know if we can or not, but let's see if we can make something that can... Holy crap, is that thing still... No way. No... Holy crap, that's one sturdy little thing. Oh, there it goes. But holy crap, look at all the abuse it's taken, and it's still drivable. Holy crap, guys. There's a whole sturdy little fucker. Okay. All right, sorry about that. But anyway, then again, I've also said on my channel that I'll say whatever I want when I want. So if you get offended easily by something like that, I mean... I'm not really going to say it that much, but I mean, if I get excited, I might. So, let's see here. Okay. We've got free build mode on. Just needed to double check. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so let's try to make a uh, machine that can, like, ram into that tower and bring it down. It may be a little difficult, but I think we might be able to do it. Let's see here. I'm thinking a little tiny thing, so it's sturdy. That, uh, let's just make it a square. Okay. So we got these as just little support braces. And let's make it rear-wheel drive again. That's not good. That's better. Okay. And then we will take some of these steering hinges here. Now this might be the weak point of this thing. But oh, we're going to have to worry about how to get to these. I wonder if the plow would work. I haven't done much on this game, so... I do apologize if uh, you're just like screaming at your monitor right now just saying, no, don't do that, that sucks. I really can't hear you over how awesome I am. Just kidding. I'm a loser. But th there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. That just means that I have a lot more fun. Come on, Fred, what does that mean? Oh. Okay, uh, I, I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, if it doesn't, we'll just go back to the drawing board. Back to the old drawing board, as Bugs Bunny would say, and, uh, and we need to flip this one like that, and I think we're good. And I flipped it around, and my voice cracked. Okay... Flip this around like that, and we should be good to go. Yes. What? Ah, oh, shoot. Did I forget? I sure did. There we go. Nice and steady. Get past these guys. And it didn't work. Well, I, th I think I might actually know what we need to do. So, let me get here. I think that this will work. Well, it it's going to work, I know that. But it's just going to be a little bit risky. I mean, at least there aren't archers, but let's see here. This is more of like a suicide bomb thing more than anything at this point. Or, wait a minute, hang on. Uh, where's the pistons? Ah, maybe this will give us just enough room to where it won't blow us up. 
It's probably not going to work, but uh, we gotta we gotta put some weight in the back here. Uh, let's just do that by using blocks. Make it look a little goofy, but I mean, just just a little weight. I mean, not, nothing nothing too serious. Hopefully, it doesn't collapse under its own weight. Uh, and let's put one of these just for safekeeping from here. To there. I think that should do us. Okay. And play. Dang it. Oh, wait. Uh, it didn't even connect. Okay. So let's go get another one of these. Now is that... No, it's not going to work. I need a grabber or something. Okay. Uh, I know how to do the grabber thing because I had an issue with that uh, going into um, first thing you need is a decoupler like this to trick the bomb into letting you put the grabber behind it then you delete the decoupler then we go back to mechanical get the grabber and we just won't There we go. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're just going to have to be very careful when driving this thing. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is this is going to be fun. Come on, okay. I guess we just don't stop. Come on. No. No, how, how could you... No. That that's not fair. Oh come on! These things would just explode on their own free will, and now oh. anything to make me look like a fool, I guess. Oh shoot! Why are you not? Oh. Well, you know what? What I have to say about that. Yeah! We did it. Sort of. But we did it. I think I hear a plane outside. Yep. Big old jumbo jet. Uh, okay. So I, I think that was kind of... Hmm. Let's try that again. And let's see here. It... Let's see if we, like, extend it out a little bit. Okay. I think that was my problem. I overturned it and it broke the wheel off. Okay, so. And I think... Did we get out of... Yeah! That... that oh, oh, ooh, that, I thought we were on fire there. So, yeah, I think that that was uh, a pretty cool idea. Uh, let, let's try one more thing. I have not done anything. Uh, let's save this thing, shall we? Save it as not the flame bender. I don't want to screw it up. Let's see here. Uh, let's save it as Mike Tyson 8 Tor. And save. Because it's got the one-two punch. Just run up, take him out with the plow, and then kablammo. I just stole B-double-O saying. Sorry about that, B-double-O. If you ever see this video, sorry. Okay, and uh, destroy this. Now let's test out some of the flying stuff. Uh, let's make a quad rotor. And if, like... If this stuff's like a little too complicated, I might just end the video here because I'm not very 
I'm not a very technical person. I mean, I can be, but it's going to take me forever. And at this point, I do not have video editing software. And I'm going to have an issue with that. So if anyone knows any good free video editing software, let me know. Send me a link or something, because I would really appreciate it. Okay, uh, flight. I think these are the things, like the little propellers. Uh, so I think okay maybe if we put some right here just to stabilize it maybe that's a really bad idea and maybe I'm a fool for doing this or maybe I've just decided something genius we will see let's see I think it was O okay we got we got stable flight at least uh Oh god, no we don't. Oh my god, why is it wobble wobbling so much? Oh shoot. No, you don't you don't do it that way. Come on. Don't 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 no. Okay, let's land it. Let's land it safely first. Ah, oh, that was not safe. Uh who I mean I don't really care if it like flies in any direction as long as it flies this is actually a big accomplishment for me because I've usually screwed up on flying machines like in uh, Kerbal Space Program uh, you'll probably be seeing that it's just gonna be failure after failure and if you're one of those Kerbal Space Program elitists that doesn't like just like people having fun on it uh, please would you just like just uh, go somewhere else and watch your videos because I've also said on my channel thing that this isn't a serious channel. I mean, you should have known that from the uh, fan fiction for crying out loud. But let, let's see, let's see what we get into here. Okay, I think we might have fixed the. Yeah, we fixed the. I don't know why it's like shaking or wigging out like that. Let's see what happens when we go too high. Uh, that must be, that must be a thing that I need to like do too. I need to uh, watch more besiege videos because the only videos I've seen of besiege were from B Double O, and uh, no offense to B Double O and B Double O if you're watching this, please don't be offended. But uh, he he's uh, he's something else. I mean. He does awesome videos, very entertaining, but when it comes to Besiege, I... Oh, shoot! It, it froze! Oh, it shattered! Oh, God! That was amazing! I wonder if I could take someone up... That'll be another episode. I think next episode, we're going to try to make one that can be controllable. And we're going to try to put a grabber on the end and pick up one of those knights and take them up to that very tippity-top part of the sky and see if they uh, freeze and then shatter into a million bits that'll be interesting to see but alright guys uh, thank you for watching uh, please uh, hit the like button if you don't mind I mean I, I could care less you could hit the dislike button as long as I see activity in the channel I mean seeing the dislikes they kinda they kinda break my heart but I, I get over it very easily but it's all, it only matters if you got entertained. And if you didn't get entertained, it just matters that you watch the video. But anyway, guys, I will see you next time on Besiege.